Salute to everybody. Well, it seems as though rapper Boosie's son, Tootie Raw, has now burnt. <laughs> he burns Kanye West's shoes and he said, we're not wearing Yeezys anymore. First off, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Um, turn your post notifications. Let's get into it. Now, rapper Boosie's son, Tootie Raw, who pretty much is a splitting image of Boosie. You know, he had a lot of things to say about Kanye West. He went out to the yard and they, you know, pretty much put some Yeezys on fire. I've been seeing a lot of guys that's been putting Yeezys on fire. I guess the new thing would be to burn his shoes. You know, one thing about, you know, you know, one thing that uh, that affect a person is affecting their bottom line, which is their money. And it seems though in this regard, you know, rapper Boosie's son, Tootie Raw, he wanted to burn Yeezy's shoes. He said, we not wearing Yeezys no more. I'm going to give you guys the video of rapper Boosie's son burning Yeezy's shoes. And after that, I'm going to give you guys an old video of um, uh, uh, Van Lathan. Um, I just want to give you guys this clip, man, because it's kind of crazy that he said this several years ago and it resonates more today than ever. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm going to get into the clip first of Boosie's son burning Yeezys and not close out and give you guys the final video of Van Lathan. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel, turn your post notifications. I'll catch you on the next one. We ain't wearing no more fucking Yeezys. We ain't no more Yeezys. Kanye West. We ain't wearing no more Yeezys, man. Kanye, man. Ride him up, girl. Spit on that nigga shit. No more Yeezys, man. Yes, no man. more Yeezys. No more Yeezys. It's over with, Wes. Fuck Yeezys, man. We ain't wearing no more Yeezys, man. Bro, bro, no more Yeezys. I'm finna barbecue on them bitches. <laughs> hey, somebody go get somebody the go get some meat. We finna barbecue on these bitches, Ooh, man. Ooh, that bitch. The grand's on fire. Stop it. Stop with your shit. That's good. <laughs> I actually don't think you're thinking anything. I think what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. And the reason why I feel like that, because Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world, real life consequence behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist and living a life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Every day we have to walk into that truth while you choose to say things that, to be honest with you, dog, are nonsensical. You want to think freely? That's fine. I'll combat your free thought with my free thought because mine is grounded in a reality that I've been given and a reality that I'm going to change, but I'm not going to do it by pretending that the enemies are on the same team as me. And frankly, I'm disappointed. I'm appalled. And brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something to me that's not real. That's the way I feel. Stand on all the coffee tables you want to stand on. Say whatever you want to say, but don't throw a stone, then hide your hand like the rest of us are just going to swallow it. Yay, be yay. I'm off it forever. Do you. But remember, the life that I live is as a real person, an actual person. <laughs>